since I started getting serious about photography, I found three things that hurt my photos. Only one has anything to do with my camera. I bet they're hurting yours too. Let's talk about it. Some videos just flow from beginning to end. You know, the, I go on a hike and I try to sort of document as I go. I really don't know where it's gonna go and what, what it's gonna turn out to be until it's done. And then some videos are projects. That's what this one's turning out to be. I wanna share a little bit about some of the challenges when it comes to the atmospherics and to movement and motion and then to, to gear. These are all challenges. Different challenges can also turn into different opportunities. How you use the atmospherics to come up with a style or an effect that you want it to do. Or you know, how do you use motion? Sometimes you may want the image to be blurred. you may want it to be sharp just in a particular spot what you're focusing on other times you may want it to be sharp throughout how you do that uh, is part of of the story of the photo you yeah, had to find a spot that you want to just come and uh, sit and see. One of the things I've learned is that with photography, videos, is uh, patience. Here in Charlottesville, Virginia, home of the University of Virginia, and I'm at this little lake. This is Lake Renovia. And I've been here a couple of days and watched some of the bird life that seems to enjoy this, this lake here. There's, I've watched a, a blue heron that's coming in, and he seems pretty docile as blue herons go. Uh, he, he doesn't get really excited and doesn't, doesn't fly away just as soon as you see him or he sees you. Uh, also, there's a, a group of Canadian geese that have been out here for a couple of days, and looking forward to seeing if I can get some behavior from them and I want to take some pictures if I can of, of them as they uh, swim in this lake. May find something uh, fun to share with you. There's several birds, uh, dragonflies. Dragonflies are everywhere and, and their delicate wings to see, um, hope I can get some pictures of that. It's this beautiful, foggy morning, and if you can see it, the mist just lifting up from the water of the lake. I'll tell you a little bit about Lake Renovia. Before housing developed around this area, Lake Renovia was sort of a recreation spot for locals. They'd have to drive all the way around Monticello and come back in. There were no roads that came directly to here. But you can still see remnants of those days when this would be a place that families would come and they would, uh, they would enjoy on the weekends, on a hot summer day, maybe to swim in the lake. But you can see um, this 
rock wall here before this retaining wall. This was all sort of a beach out through here. Still has a little bit of sand down there. Uh, and you can see the remnants of the old walkway that went down into the lake. This was all a swimming area. And they would take boats and canoes and kayaks and, and go out and enjoy the water. And the residents that still live in this area do this. You see residents out quite a bit enjoying this beautiful spot. A short video this week since I'm traveling. Well, I got my fan club in the back. If you see the geese hanging out there on the deck, and uh, that'll do it for this week's video. I'm not going to have a video next week. If I haven't told you, the uh, reason we're here in Virginia is that we're visiting my daughter and her husband, who have taken a trip to Italy, and we're babysitting their children. So. We got a six year old and a two year old full of energy and it's about all that we can do to, to keep up. So I'm going to be back to you when we get back home and until then, stay safe, stay healthy, stay on the path. I hope we do too. God bless you.